Hello everyone. This is the video of Business Studies Class 12th, Part A, namely the principles and the functions of management. Unit first, namely the nature and the significance of management. And in my previous video, I've discussed the first chapter, namely management, its concepts, its objectives, and its importance. And in second chapter, namely the nature of management, it's as management as science, art, or profession. And in today's video. I'll discuss the third chapter of the unit first, namely the levels of the management. So let's begin with the chapter of levels of management. However, before beginning the topic, per se, let's understand the meaning of level first and then it will be easier for you to understand the topic, right? The English meaning of level is having no part higher than another which means whatever the surface height you're talking about nothing is above of that and also nothing is below of that or a uniform plane or unvarying in height as you can see in the given image here got the meaning but wait a minute because in our topic we need to understand some meaning and what is that can you guess? I'll tell you. In reference to our topic, namely the levels of management, in fact, it is talking about the hierarchy. Now I think you guys are a little confused. As in the first meaning I said, the meaning of the level is unwearing height. And in the second sentence, talking about the hierarchy, how it's possible? Just pay attention here. Here, I mean in your topic, what is the name of topic that is, remember? It is the levels, that is the plural form of level. So, it is talking about the different levels. At one level, of course, it is a horizontal plane, but there are different levels. At one level, of course, it is a horizontal plane, but there are different levels where each level has a uniformity. But the first level is lower than the second level, second level is lower than the third level, and so on. And so forth, this is how it is creating hierarchy. And you can see in the pictures as well, the different levels. Your faces look like some of you are still confused. Okay, let's understand it with an example. Think about your school, the highest level or the head of your school is the director. In the second level is the principal and in the third level is the vice principal. In the fourth level, it's the head of the department. In the fifth level is your class teacher. At the sixth level is your subject teacher. Can you see the hierarchy in the different levels of the management? I believe now you got the meanings of levels. Now think what could be the content in your topic that is the levels of management. Does it sound easier now? common so simple definitely this topic is discussing about the different levels of managing work involved in any business but don't worry i'll discuss something from your books as well so let's begin we are studying the subject business studies if you see any company or any organization there are various levels such as ceo managing director manager assistant manager or any team leader etc so the same way when management has its own levels. So let's understand the levels of management. Basically, there are three levels of management. The first is the top level. The second is the middle level. And the third one is the lower level of management. So we'll understand it one by one. The first is the top level management. See, the word top itself defines the most senior most members of the company. It includes the managers from different functional areas and they have maximum authority. For example, we can see that chairman, the board of directors, the managing director, the general manager, president, etc. They are not only different in their names and posts, but rather they have different kind of work as well. So check out the functions of these different levels of management. In the meantime, you can also recall the example that I gave about of your school, that is the director, the principal, the teacher, etc. Think what are their work, 
each one does their different work isn't it similarly check out the functions of top level management we will see what work has been performed at the top level those are formulate the objectives of the organization frames plans and policies to achieve the set objectives organizes activities to be performed by persons at the middle level is responsible for survival and growth of the organization arranges finance and other resources to carry out day to day activities and maintains contact with the outside world this is all about the top level management let's proceed with the second level that is the middle level management middle level is the channel or we can say it works as the network between the top level and the lower level management it performs the functions of top level for their respective departments see i'll give you some examples for example we can say it as purchase department hr manager marketing manager finance manager etc now let's see its functions one by one the first is interprets the policies framed by top level management to lower level management second is organizes activities for their respective departments third is recruits or selects employees for their respective departments the Fourth is cooperates with other departments for achieving organizational objectives. Fifth is implements plans framed by the top management. So this is all about the middle level management. So now let's proceed with the last level, which is the lower level management. So we know when we have a higher authority, we need to report them about our activities. This is the general procedure which works in all the organizations. Now tell me, can you connect something to what I said just now? Confused? Okay, see, the lower level management performs the work as per the directions received by top level and the middle levels of management. They have the limited authority. So now you must have got the connection why I said those things about the general reporting in the company. For clear understanding, I'll give you example. the supervisors the superintendent the foreman the clerk etc now let's go through the functions of management first is passes the problems and grievances of workers to middle level management second is maintains proper working and environmental conditions the third is ensures safe and secure work environment for workers the fourth is helps middle level management in recruitment selection appointment and promotion of workers fifth is communicates with workers welcoming suggestions and feedback the sixth is maintains quality standard of output the last is develops team spirit in employees and boosts their morale so this is all about the levels of management however before winding up this video let's have a quick revision about what we discussed in today's video so we have studied about the levels of management where we have discussed the meaning of level and then explained that the three different levels of management usually which they are been seen in any business organization that is the top level management the middle level management and the lower level management besides we have also studied the functions of each level of management so that's all for today's video now i'll take your leave and we'll meet in the next video with the next chapter of the unit 1 that is the functions of the management however if you have any query or questions regarding the discussed points feel free to ask through the comment box given below